in the midst of digital transformation, whether it's with um, industry, every company, and just personally, our lives have changed dramatically. And at the center of that is technology. And as you know, at the center of technology is silicon and the things that we do. Our vision, as you know, is to be the trusted performance leader that unleashes the potential of data. And the transition over time has been an era of the PC where it was the center of everything that we do. It's evolved to the era of mobile and cloud. But the future we see is an era of distributed intelligence, as I indicated, where everything looks like a computer and technology needs to be able to move from one device to the next um, in a more distributed, intelligent environment. And that requires somebody to be the trusted performance leader that unleashes the potential of data. And that is strategically what we've been positioning ourselves to do. And I'm excited to be part of the team driving the next wave of innovation and growth for this important institution. But there are three major trends that I believe will drive how the industry unfolds. The trends that I see that will drive the industry include, one, we see an, I see a next era of computing unfolding in front of us, and I'll talk about what's driving that. Secondly, we believe, I believe we're entering into a new era of distributed intelligence that is incredibly exciting for, for the industry and for our customers. And then finally, there, I feel this is a, an imperative for social responsibility in everything we do. In this new era of computing, high performance, responsive computing becomes pervasive and affordable at scale everywhere. In this world of distributed intelligence, we see AI, 5G, combined with intelligent autonomous edge as the fastest growing opportunities for our customers to solve their problems and for Intel to provide innovation. As Bob and Zaf outlined, as the changing world and explosion of data drives the need for more computing, our vision is to be the trusted leader that unleashes that potential. My job is to translate that for our customers. We are on a journey of defining the future of computing to address the world's biggest challenges. With our six pillars, we are bringing innovation to our customers. As I've been talking with our customers about the transformation journey we're on, I'm hearing about their requirements and how more and more they're driven by solutions. This fits perfectly with our evolution from transactional relationship to one that is more transformational. Through our deep technical conversations and collaborations, we've created tailored solutions across customers and vertical industries worldwide. We will continue to strengthen our core products and deliver leadership on a predictable cadence for our customers. We will extend our reach and leverage our scale for our customers and partners globally. We will lead with six pillars and the diverse portfolio of hardware and software products to capitalize on the fastest growing opportunities. Finally, we are redefining our position in the industry. We are bringing the blueprint of solving big problems with our customers. It was great to hear about the transformation happening in our markets and with our customers. We know from all of the studies and the science and the data that strong cultures are a predictor of future performance. And we know that leadership that is visibly demonstrated around a core set of values that are clearly articulated for the organization drives alignment and focus to create an environment where employees feel energized, empowered, and inspired to do great work. And we know that expectations have never been higher from our shareholders, from our customers, from our ecosystem, indeed, from our own employees. But we also know that we can't do everything on our own. And part of our 2030 RISE goals includes another element where we're inviting the industry to come on this journey with us. And this is the Global Inclusion Index work that we're driving. As part of our 2030 RISE goals, we've taken a leadership position focused on convening other tech and tech adjacent uh, companies to accelerate the adoption of inclusive business practices across industries by creating and implementing a global inclusion index open standard. Our strategy is not to deal with each of these heterogeneous architectures separately, but to solve problems holistically as one XPU architecture with single software abstraction. The goal is to move from a CPU-centric to XPU-centric computing 
as the diversity of workloads increases. We are on a journey from CPU to XPU, which will allow us to build products that are ready for the distributed intelligence era. And as we do that, we are expanding the impact of our work beyond just our silicon products to include software and solutions that solve problems for all our users and make it super easy to leverage our technology advances. These transformations are essential for us to continue to deliver products that delight our customers with disciplined execution and innovation that we are known for. We're moving from the traditional IDM to new modern IDM, where we'll lead the industry based on our disaggregated design capabilities and our unique ability to innovate across all areas that are key to product leadership. There's an explosion of IPs and SKUs. It drives huge complexity to meet the needs with just one piece of silicon. And so by utilizing disaggregation, we're able to really optimize for power, cost, and performance. As we continue to drive a regular cadence of leadership products, we must design these leadership products differently than we have in the past. Disaggregation, where the package becomes the SOC, gives us flexibility. Flexibility in meeting the needs of the market and flexibility in engineering and manufacturing. Our IDM advantage is alive and well. Disaggregation and advanced manufacturing capabilities in both process and packaging are more valuable than ever. Along with my partner, Dr. Ann Kelleher, as an IDM, we can make close internal trade-offs between the product, process, and manufacturing during the design and development that our competitors cannot. Now, one of the things that I'm very focused on the team with my background for manufacturing is how we bring predictability and innovation together. Well, first of all, I'm going to say I strongly believe in being an IDM. I'm almost 25 years in Intel. I've seen it work at its best. I truly believe as we continue to do that, we can get the best from the IDM advantage. Intel has a very strong innovation pipeline as well. For those who follow our publications at IEDM, either in 2019 or this year in 2020, we're showcasing a significant amount of our innovation that's ongoing at the moment. Well, first of all, I must say over the last four months, I've had the pleasure of working with some of the best engineers in the world. And not only are they focused on the innovation, but collectively together, we're focused on delivering predictably. And I'm very confident that we're going to do it based on the fact of what I see day in, day out of what we're achieving. Our third generation Xeon scalable processors, codenamed Ice Lake, will bring to market a balanced architecture that will deliver increased performance and capabilities for a huge variety of workloads from cloud to network to edge. Intel must continue to focus on solving customer problems holistically by not only delivering hardware components, but optimizing them with software to deliver more robust and impactful solutions. As the industry continues to scale its infrastructure to meet growing service demand, workloads are requiring optimizations beyond the component level to deliver real value to customers. At Intel, we have recognized this challenge and have been building in partnership with our customers for this moment. Together now is gonna to be the foundation for leadership desktop and mobile processors that deliver smarter, faster, and more efficient capabilities for real-world performance and compute usages moving forward. And it's truly something no one else in the industry can do. And our mission at Intel and CCG is to work across the industry to advance the PC platform and bring the world's best PC experiences to life. We believe, although a bit still uncertain, that 2021 will bring another year of growth to the PC industry. And we're embracing that opportunity, we're preparing for it, and we intend to compete and win in 2021. And we remain confident that if we execute on our plan to accelerate our product roadmap and leadership, if we deliver breakthrough experiences through our accelerated platform innovation, and we create our future by accelerating our client computing transformation, we'll deliver that next generation of products that supports the success of our customers and will lead to another year of growth for the client computing group at Intel. Now the experience of working together is great and it's what's enabling our rapid uh, growth and our kind of thinking big. Now this 
very, very extensive product portfolio would not have been uh, possible without the synergy with, uh, with Intel. We shipped so far 65 million uh, IQ uh, chips. We have 48 running production uh, programs. Year to date, 2020, 29 new production uh, programs that are covering 26 million uh, units. 70% of all five-star and four-star rating vehicles are using mobilized technology. Since 2014, the year where we uh, went for an IPO, um, we have a CAGR of about 37%. So it's a significant growth and we're continuing uh, uh, that growth for, uh, uh, for Intel as well. The purpose of Intel Labs is to explore the future for Intel. Essentially, it means that we need to make multiple orders of magnitude improvement along multiple vectors of technology. We need orders of magnitude improvement in the capture and movement of data and in memory and storage capabilities. And we need orders of magnitude gain in computational energy efficiency and in the productivity of programming systems. At Intel Labs, we're taking up those goals. As a shorthand, let's call that our pursuit of 1,000x. I think that what makes Intel Labs unique is that we focus not only on researching new technologies, but we also always keep in mind that we need to deliver those solutions at global scale. This forms the basis for many of the things that we do, the decisions we make about the role that we play in the world, which is to create world-changing technologies that enrich the lives of every person on Earth.